Hey guys, okay, so today I have my empties video for you. I've waited a while to do this, so my empties bag is pretty full. Uh, I think you can see Lucy back here. Wait, oh, wrong way. Say hi, Lucy. She's just chilling there watching the cars. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not going to go in any particular order because there's a lot. Okay, oh, well, here's two things. I've gone through another one of these Herbal Essences Body NB Volumizing Shampoos and the Matching Conditioner. So I really like these. I think I'm going to try something new once I finish the other set I have. I think I have one more set. And then I'll try something new. But I do really like them. I don't know if it really gives a lot of volume, but they're good shampoos and conditioners. All right. Uh, these I finished on my trip to the Central Coast a couple weeks ago. These are the Target brand makeup remover cleansing towelettes. It's just a 10 pack. So I also like to keep one of these in my purse just in case of emergencies. On that note, I finished one of these estate wipes. These my friend Devin introduced me to, the ones from Walmart. And they're really good. I really like them. There's 60 count, and I think it was a two pack of these for like five bucks. Um, yeah. And again, keeping on the same theme, these are the baby wipes from Target. I used these before, these are the unscented ones. I used these before I started purchasing the makeup removal wipes. And I really like the makeup remover wipes a lot better. I think I might try the recipe that um, Steph Busta had on her channel to make the makeup remover wipes yourself. So that might be next. Here's another Herbal Essence Body NV. Whoa, this is not helping. Yes, Herbal Essence Body Envy Volumizing Conditioner. So I've gone through two of these since the last time. So since it's summer, I also went through one of these. It's the Coppertone Sport SPF 50 Ultra Sweat Proof Waterproof, blah, blah, blah. Um, we have a pool here at the house. So uh, at the beginning of summer, mostly I'd been swimming a lot and this was really good. And I really like the way the Coppertone Sport sprays out the mist. What else? Oh, one of these. It took me forever to go through it because I have so many other like um, creams and moisturizers that this Aveeno one just took me forever to get through. I did repurchase this, but I bought the one with the SPF 15 in it and I've been using that in the mornings and I really like that one. It's the same formula and it feels the same. I just think if you're going to get SPF in it too, two for one, then why not? Um, what else? I went through one of these. It's the e.l.f. Shine Eraser, the basically the blotting sheets. They're okay. I Right now I'm using the Sephora one, and I think the Sephora ones work a lot better. But these were like a dollar. The Sephora ones are about three dollars, so it's not that much of a difference. Well, I guess it's triple the price, so. Oh, this is the Don't Be Jelly Body in um, Body Shot by fortune cookie soap oh, this smells amazing I use this up this got about I gotta say about five or six showers out of it tiny little tub and I did repurchase this in the full size it's in my bathroom right now and the same scent I also repurchased in a body wash what else did I go through oh I went through another one of these the crest 3d white toothpaste this is used up um, I do like this toothpaste. I think after I finish the one I have right now, I'm probably going to buy the Colgate Optic Oil. I've heard really good reviews about that. But for right now, it's good toothpaste. Teeth feel clean. What else do I have in here? Oh, Tresemme Dry Shampoo. So this dry shampoo is okay. Um, I was gifted the Suave Dry Shampoo. And I have to say that one works so much better. See what else I have in here. I don't remember what was in this bag. Pretty sure I finished something. But whatever was in here, I finished too. A uh, purity pump one. So I usually use the. There you go. Good job. So this is the high foaming daily cleanser by Philosophy, the purity kind. 
Um, I usually use the like milky creamier one. Um, but this one was on sale at Sam's Club a couple months ago for this size and a bigger size for like 20 bucks. So I just got that. Um, oh, strawberry Italian soda. I was gifted this in a three set for my birthday last year. And this one, it smells like strawberry soda. It smells really good. I'm working on the other two scents in the shower right now. Also really great. Um, this is the sample of the Naked Skin. Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay. The one, I didn't think I kept it. It's like shade four is the one I am and it's missing because I used it. It's all right. The foundation was a little thin for me to pay so much money for. If I want a thin foundation, I feel like I can get one just as good at the drugstore. So I don't think I'll be purchasing a full size of this. Although I did purchase the Naked Optical Blurring Brush by Urban Decay and I really do like that for foundation. What else do I have in here? Ah, here we go. Dove Clinical Protection. Uh, this is the uh, Super Wetness Protection Deodorant Antiperspirant uh, Clinical with extra aluminum. I really like this scent. Um, I use the... What scent are you? I don't know. It's, this one. it's like cucumber something. But I usually use it for most of the year in the regular kind. But for summer, I like to have the extra aluminum for extra sweaty protection. What else is in here? Oh, I went through this. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Concealer. It was okay, but there's definitely better concealers. I might repurchase this for like every day for like work. Because it was an okay concealer. But I did like that it had the salicylic acid in it. So it was like double spot treatment because I treat my spot before I put on the makeup and then this would be like afterwards with so treatment sandwich I used up my tiny thing of shaving cream I've had this forever it's all right skincare shave cream mostly all the same um is this my urban decay all-nighter setting spray this is the one I've had for a long time I use this all up right Yep, nothing's coming on. Uh, this is really great. I love this for summer. I have an extra large size that my friend Madi bought me for Christmas that I've been using since this ran out. Um, I have the CVS targeted I don't know, peroxide, basically acne medication spot treatment. I've been trying a bunch of these. I think in my last empties video, I had the regular Neutrogena kind. This time I have the CVS kind. Right now I'm using the Neutrogena Naturals, but I got a sample of Grease Lightning from Lush and I think I might um, purchase that for next time because I really liked how smooth it went on and it didn't leave like a white crust. Speaking of Lush, I'll just use this one next. This is the Cupcake Face Mask by Lush and I loved this. It, well, this is all done now. You can see a little speck of brown. That's the mask, leftover mask. But it smells like chocolate. And I really did feel that it cleaned out my pores. I'm gonna save this because every time we bring five of these little Lush containers back, I have to do the little black ones to get a free Lush face mask, which I'll probably get another one of those. Or maybe the Cosmetic Warrior, I haven't. Hmm. Oh, here's another Lush thing. It's a sample of their Turkish Delight body wash. This was okay. I don't like that it didn't really lather, so I don't know if I'll be purchasing that. But it smelled really nice, and I did like the way it went with the Rose Argon um, body conditioner. Although well, there are so many, so many face, um, face body washes to go through right now. Uh, I finally finished this. Finally, finally, finally. This is the Makeup Forever HD Primer in number one, the green one basically. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I think I've mentioned that before on here. It does cover up redness sometimes when it feels like it, but my skin has actually been pretty good lately and I don't think I have as much redness as I used to. So I don't feel like I need it that much. But I saw L'Oreal brought theirs back, so if I wanted a green primer, I'd probably just buy theirs because it's half the price and I think it was honestly better than that one. Uh, this is a sample of the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath oil-free energizing oxygen gel cream moisturizer and 
I ended up, I was going to buy this and then I saw the review that 11th Gorgeous had on the new Clean and Clear Oil Free Moisturizer. And, oh, there's Lucy again. <laughs> oh, she's on the bed. And I honestly think they work almost the same. There's a slight difference. I think this one's a touch more moisturizing for being oil free, but not much of a difference. So I finished one of these little packets. I finished the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm. Is this the one that smelled? No, this one didn't smell. There was another BB cream I have. I think I'm still working on it. Um, it was okay. Not the coverage I would like and not the moisturizing qualities I would like for something so expensive because the Dr. Jart Water Fuse uh, BB creams are just way too expensive for what they are, in my opinion. But I'm almost done in here. Oh, Dr. Paracone Face Finishing Moisturizer. I was gifted this by my mom for Christmas last year, I want to say. Christmas? I want to say Christmas. And I use that up. Look at that. It's a great moisturizer. I really like it for when my skin is dry. My skin always felt very moisturized and just healthy when I used it. But it's like 90 bucks to repurchase. I don't have that kind of money. I'll stick to my Velocity ones. Not that those are cheap either, but... Okay, this is a sample. Another Lush sample of Rub Rub Rub. I liked this. It wasn't... It has a good smell. So the concept behind this is basically it's a scrub slash body wash. So if you don't put... If you don't add water, then you can use it as a scrub. If you add more water, you can use it as a body wash. It's a great concept. Um, it smells really good. I don't know if I'd repurchase this on my own, but my boyfriend got me a big tub of this for my birthday, so I'll be using it. It's good. It smells really good, actually. What else is in here? Oh, this Nude Radiant Day Moisturizer, another sample. All right, nothing too great. It moisturized. Um, I finally went through this sample of... Oh, I know what this is. This is a Benefit Erase Paste. And I have to say, I think I got this sample at the Sephora in Rancho. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. And they filled it up. This was a pretty stacked sample. Like, this whole little pot was practically full. Um, I have since gotten another one of these. Um, my friend, woo, flying erase paste. Um, my friend Mari got me a full size of that for my graduation, so I have a lot to go through. Thank you. And, oh, I have two more things. Uh, this is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12-hour primer. Um, I think there's a little more in here. Oh, no. There's, I really use up my empties. Oh, there you go. It's basically a silicone-based primer. But it just feels a little thicker than the Monistat Chafing Gel that is maybe half, not even half. I'd like to say like a third of the price for more. So I wouldn't be purchasing a full size, but I think I have another one. Oh, this big thing, in addition to being my cell phone holder at the moment, is my sample box. So I really have a lot of samples to get through. There's, there's a ton. Maybe I'll make a video showing you my samples one day. And the last thing in here... I bought this at the nail place I go to to get my nail polishes um, and I finally tried it and I looked super scary but it was very hydrating and moisturizing. Uh, this is the, I don't know, Miracle Pack Moisture Nutrition Mask, I don't know, but no, she looks much prettier in that mask than I did. I looked like I was going to go on a serial killing spree. Anyways, that those were my empties. I will type up a list and leave it down below. Um, with a little blurb like, yay, boom, boom. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if this video is super long. Talk to you guys later. Bye.